this book is supposed to come with a live CD, as you can see here, that you use to perform the exercises in the book without doing anything that would affect your operating system. Uh, so for that reason, I actually ordered a physical copy of this book, and it was listed as new on eBay, but uh, didn't come with a CD. So if you're in a similar position, or if you just want to go through this book using only the PDF, there is a way around that. You're going to want to search Hacking the Art of Exploitation ISO which is going to take you to the No Starch Press website. And they're the publisher of the book. Uh, there should be a download link for the ISO here. If you don't already have a torrent client, I recommend Deluge. Uh, but once you've got that downloaded, go ahead and search Oracle Virtual Box. And you're going to want to download and install this software onto your system as well. So once you've done that, open up the VirtualBox software, hit New. You can name it whatever the hell you want. It really doesn't matter. Make sure to select Linux from the first drop-down menu. And I believe it's a 32-bit version of Ubuntu, so go ahead and click that. Hit Continue. The default memory allocation is a gigabyte. That should be more than enough. Uh... As far as the virtual hard disk, if you don't know what the different file types are, it should be okay just to use the default VirtualBox disk image. And uh, make sure that dynamically allocated is selected, because as you can see here, by default, it has you allocate 10 gigabytes. So the dynamic allocation just means that if your virtual box is taking up two gigabytes. That's all it's going to use. Even though it's permitted to use up to 10, it's, it's not going to take up that much space unless it needs to. So hit create. Then click settings. Storage. Over here, click empty. Check the box that says live CD. And then you're going to want to click this CD next to the drop down menu and click choose virtual optical disk file. Uh, make your way to the directory that you downloaded from the No Starch Press website. Click on the ISO, open it, hit OK. And then go ahead and try starting it up. And there you have it.